Yo, guys, I'm here. Welcome back to another video. So today, what I've got for you is my reaction to the Black Plus C 2019/20 fixture list. Now, just before we get into this exciting video, I have had a quick glance at the fixture list when it was released. However, I haven't had a chance to look at it in much detail. So we're going to be going through that today. And I am due to upload another video because on the day of recording this, Blackpool have just signed Jamie Devitt from Carlisle United, their Players Player of the Year. That's actually going to be a two-in-one Seaside signings video with Ryan Edwards, who we did sign from Plymouth. We did sign Edwards on the Friday, and then Devitt was rumoured to be coming to Blackpool in the next few days. So I thought there's no point in recording two separate videos till I'd wait and just record them both in one. It turns out Devitt took longer to announce than I expected, so now I'm just going to upload them both in one video. So, like I say, today we are talking about the fixture list. Some very exciting fixtures on here. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, guys, so as you can see, I'm on the Blackpool website here and I've got the fixture list up on my phone. So, without further ado, let's get into the fixtures. So, firstly, in the month of August, our opening game of the season is home to Bristol Rovers. Now, this is quite good because, you know, it's a new era for the Seasiders. The Simon Sadler era. Hopefully, the place will be bouncing on the first game of the season. Now, the first game of the season is normally away. It would be nice to have had a good away day. But at the same time, it's been a while since we've had a home game first game of the season. So, it'll be nice to be back at Bloomfield Road. Now, following on from that, our first away game of the season, in my opinion, it starts to go a bit downhill from here. So we take on South End away on the 10th of August, a very long way away from Blackpool. Then Oxford at home. After that, you've got Gillingham away on a Tuesday night, which is, again, a bit dead as it's a Tuesday night. Rochdale away on the 24th of August, that's a good one, definitely looking to go into that. Portsmouth at home on the 31st, followed by Coventry away at the beginning of September. Then MK Dons at home and Doncaster away on a Tuesday night, which is a shame it's on a Tuesday night again. Following on from that, we've got Accrington away on the 21st of September and Lincoln at home on the 28th. September is quite an improved month from August, I think, some decent away days there. Accrington, Coventry, Doncaster. We move on to October. Now, this is where things start to get quite good. Bolton away on Saturday, the 5th of October, followed by Rotherham at home and Bury away on the 19th of October. So, two good away days there. Quick succession. And we also end that month with Wickham at home and Burton away. So, quite a few good away days in there. Moving on to November, some quite tough fixtures as we've got Peterborough at home, Wimbledon at home, and Ipswich away. Now, moving on to the festive period in December, our first game of December is actually at home to Fleetwood Town on Saturday, the 7th of December. Now, I'm used to us playing Fleetwood away first and then home near the end of the season, but it looks like this time it is the other way around. And following on from Fleetwood, we do play Sunderland away, followed by Shrewsbury at home just before Christmas and Accrington at home on Boxing Day. Then after that, Three days after Accrington, we play Tranmere Rovers away at Prenton Park. And then Rotherham United away on New Year's Day. So that should be a good one to go to. A couple of days after that, we do play Bolton at home. As you know, the fixtures do come in thick and fast around the Christmas period. Then Bury at home on the 11th of January. Also in January, we do face Lincoln away, Tranmere at home and Wickham away on a Tuesday night. February, another difficult month with Oxford away, Southend at home, Gillingham at home, Bristol Rovers away. Wimbledon away and Ipswich at home. Then March, where we face Fleetwood Town again, this time away at Highbury on the 7th. Then Sunderland again, so it's quite strange that we face Fleetwood and then Sunderland after each other both times. And then Shrewsbury Town away and Peterborough away. And then finally, as we come to the end of the season, in April we face Burton Albion at, and Rochdale at home, Portsmouth away, Coventry at home and MK Dons away is the final away game of the season. Then the last game of the season, we play at Doncaster Rovers at home. So again, nice to finish off the season with a home game at Bloomfield Road as we did last time, even though we did get beat 3-0 by Gillingham. Like I say, it's nice to finish off the season with a home game, despite the fact this one will most likely be a tough game. So we do face Doncaster, who we know are a good side and probably be aiming for promotion next season. So there are all the fixtures for the 2019-20 campaign. I will be doing my prediction for the league table nearer the time of the season. Also, let me know what other videos you want to see. My opinions on the fixtures, they're not awful, but yet again, they're not amazing. I feel like the start's a bit weak. You know, Bristol Rovers is good to be back at Bloomfield Road. South End away, not the best. Oxford, mm, Gillingham on a Tuesday night. Rochdale, good. Portsmouth, a tough one. So it does get better as we move into September. I think October's the best month, personally, with Bolton 
Bury and Burton away. Although in December we do face Fleetwood, Sunderland, Accrington and Tranmere, so that could be up there as well. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let me know what you think of the new fixture list. Are you happy with the first game? Are you happy with the last game? You know, which games are you looking forward to the most and what days? Let me know in the comments below and I'll most likely respond to most of them. So thanks for watching. Leave a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.